All right, so now I'm going to uh, go through my notebook entry. So first we're gonna put the date, so it's July 15th, 2020, and it is overcast. Um, so it's important to write the weather because depending on what the weather is will uh, vary how good a quality your notes are. And if you're writing up a report months later, you're not going to remember those little details. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, so we got our objective, it's mapping um, the North Prairie Sound Shore Trail. Um, so now we have our striking dip we just took was uh, 342 and it is dipping that way at about 30 degrees. Um, and now we'll describe their outcrop. So what it is is it's a um, kind of approximately 50 meter long uh, 10 meter high road cut. Um, it is a <clears throat> amphibolite night, uh, amphibole rich. Nice. I actually should go through the full description. So it's actually, let's just cross that out. It's actually a medium to dark gray, well foliated, amphibole, nice, uh, with approximately 10% uh, felsic layers ranging from of one to 10 millimeters thick. Uh, there's a few that are a little bit thicker, so we could maybe make a note of that on the other out end of the outcrop. Um, but this is kind of most of the, um, of the outcrop. Now, one thing I'll also do is we'll have a little scale here, is do a sketch. So we've got 10 meters. And what I wanna do is kind of show that we have a change in the dip. So it's a little bit folded here. There's not really distinct folds and they're all trending the same way, but the, the strike and dip are varying a little bit. Um, so we'll label this. This is uh, nice. Uh, and if I'm doing this um, in in full, uh, I would spend a little bit more time building in the detail here, um, as well as probably have an inset that has a close-up sketch um, of the rock. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that here just for purposes of time and, and trying to draw with my arms uh, outstretched uh, so I can get this in the camera shot. Um, but that's the sort of thing. I, this is how I like to do it, is have my notes on the right-hand side, draw out the structure like this, rather than just putting in the number, just in case you're not doing right-hand rule correctly. Um, um, and then do a quick sketch of the outcrop. Um, this is especially to show structural uh, differences because we're gonna take a sample so we can look at the rocks again. So we want a description of the rocks, but we can actually look at a sample of the rocks and you'll have one with you to do a more detailed description. Um, but we wanna know A, like, is this whole outcrop doing that structure measurement that we took or is it varying some? And it is varying some. So this little uh, sketch is gonna help show me that and I'll make a uh, quick note that the structural orientation varies across outcrop due to minor folding and that's sort of how how you take it uh, should approach each site and do a uh, notebook description and a brief sketch kind of highlighting the important parts of the outcrop that may not show up 
on your map um, or may explain some variance in your uh, stereo net when you start plotting these up.